Book 168. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about always doing but never done. That's right. Always doing but never done. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in a land once known as Ugandamore, a widow raised her son alone to the best of her ability. This woman, who was one of my ancestors no less, was not wealthy and she did not own much. But she made sure that her son was always fed and he had decent clothing to wear. Because of this, when her son became a man, he decided that he would build a nice home for his mother to live out the rest of her days. The son then went to the men who sold wood so that he could use it in his building project. But he decided that the wood they had was not good enough for his mother. I will travel to the land of Inanna and gather the finest wood in the world, he said. And with that, he headed out on his journey and spent several years away, but he did in fact return with the famed wood from the land of Inanna. Next, he went to those who sold cloth so that he could use it in his building project, but he decided that the cloth being sold in the village was not good enough for his mother. I will travel to the land of Igono and gather the finest cloth in all the world, he said. And with that, he headed out on his journey and spent several years away but he did in fact return with the famed cloth from the land of Igono. After this, he went to those who sold glass so that he could use it in his building project, but he decided that the glass being sold in the village was not good enough for his mother. I will travel to the land of Sunkata and gather the finest glass in all the world, he said. And with that, he headed out on his journey and spent several years away but he did in fact return with the famed glass from the land of Sukata. Only this time, when he returned, they told him that his mother had passed away and they showed him where she was buried. The man immediately went into mourning and he thought about how his mother spent her last years inside of her simple hut. He also thought about how she spent her last years alone because he had spent so many years gathering supplies. Oh, what a wretched son I am, he exclaimed in tears. To have been with my mother in her final moments of life would have indeed meant more to her than the finest house. And so, the morning motivation of today is always doing but never done. It is easy to get caught up in the cycle of planning a thing to be perfect, and it is difficult to execute a plan and see it to completion. So many of us talk about what we are going to do and what we are doing but not enough of us talk about what we have done. It is as if we are chasing the high that our imagination gives us when we think about how splendid things could be. But we cannot force ourselves to make our dreams a reality so we continue to talk and plan. Today, I want you to finish a task you set out for yourself, no matter how small that task might be. Get accustomed to not only doing, but to also getting things done. And make sure that while you are achieving your dreams, you seek to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.